Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Mother's Day is right around the corner, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing three simple and sweet DIY ideas with you. Two of these are going to be an idea for a gift, and then I also have a decor idea to share with you. But before we get started, if you are new here, please do consider subscribing down below, and be sure to turn on that notification bell. For this first DIY, we are going to be creating a really easy bird feeder, and all you need from Dollar Tree is one of their small plates as well as a mug. If Dollar Tree does not have something that you really love, be sure to check out your local thrift store. They are sure to have a ton of different options. I just picked these two out because I thought the pop of color was really cute. So the trick here is to get a really strong hold. So to do that, I'm going to be using two different glues, the hot glue as well as this E6000 glue. I'll leave this one linked down below. They sell it at craft stores. I usually just order it from Amazon. What is going to give you that super strong hold. So if you check the back, it does say allow 24 hours for it to cure, but the optimal results will be after 72 hours. So that is gonna be that really, really, really tight hold. But in the meantime, just to make sure it holds in place while it is curing I do like to add a little bit of hot glue so that's just to keep it upright in exactly where I want it to be while I'm allowing that e6000 to dry just going to center it onto my plate and then hold it in place for about 30 seconds or so just to let that hot glue dry and then I'm gonna let it cure completely and then the last step is to just add some bird feed. I just decided to hang mine here on this little hook that I also did pick up from the Dollar Tree and it makes a really sweet and inexpensive bird feeder. Next, we are going to be creating a customized candle. So I'm gonna be starting off with this glass candle holder from the Dollar Tree, and then I also picked up some of these tall white candles from Dollar Tree. So I decided to use two for this one because I wanted my new candle to be pretty full almost all the way to the top, and I did end up using almost all of this wax. So first, we just wanna melt it down. I'm going to be placing my candles in a big pot of water over low heat. I wanna just let it simmer so it has time to evenly melt the wax down. You might want to encourage the wax to go all the way down to the bottom with a popsicle stick, just be super careful. Once your wax is completely melted, you can transfer it into your new container. So if you like, you can just reuse the wick from one of those candles. You just wanna fish it out with a popsicle stick. I have a bag of these candle wicks on hand, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use a new one. So to attach it, I'm just using hot glue or you can just use a more permanent glue. So I'm just gonna be gluing it right into the center of my glass. And then I'm gonna start pouring in my hot wax. A glass container can get a little hot here, so be sure to be careful and use oven mitts if they are not cool to the touch. And now I'm just gonna be using some popsicle sticks to make sure that my wick stays right in the center while it is drying. So here it is the next day after I let it dry overnight, and I'm just gonna be trimming down that wick. And now we are going to create a custom decal for the front of our candle. To do this today, I'm going to be using water slide decal paper. If you have a Cricut or a cutting machine, you can definitely just create something on there. I do not. So this is a great option if you do not have a cutting machine. So basically you just print out your image on the paper inside here. And then to make sure that your image is sealed in place, you just want to apply three coats of clear spray paint, let it dry completely, and then it is ready to use. So these are the images that I created for this DIY today. I just created these on Canva. They were really, really fun to make. If you are interested in using any of these, I will leave this link down below. So on my blog, there will be a free printable for this if you guys wanna use any of these. So here is the clear spray paint that I used. So I'm just gonna go ahead, prep these outside with three coats of spray paint, let it dry in between each coat. And then once it is dry completely, they are ready to use. So here they are all dried, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out the ones that I'm gonna be using today. I just left a very thin border right around my picture when I was cutting it out, and it will be clear once that paper backing is removed, so you won't see it. So now to create the decal, you just have to let it sit in some lukewarm water for about 30 seconds or so. And while that's sitting in the water, you want to wet the surface that you're going to be applying it to. You can use these decals on a number of different surfaces, but in my opinion, glass does work best for them. So now I'm just gonna take my whole decal out of the water and bring it over to my candle. Once I have it where I want it, I'm just gonna carefully slide it off that paper backing onto the glass surface. 
And now while I'm carefully holding it in place, I'm just going to dry any extra water on top of that decal and then let it dry completely. Here is a closer look on how it turned out and this is just a really fun way to create a customized gift for someone. Now for our last DIY, we are going to be creating a decor idea. So I'm starting off with a bunch of faux florals from the Dollar Tree. I wanted this one to be really fun so I kind of just went with a bunch of bright colors. And then I also picked up one of the foam boards from Dollar Tree. So to start off, I did print out a letter M and O on my printer, and I'm gonna be tracing them here onto my foam board. But you can definitely just freehand this as well. I kind of wish that I had freehanded it because in the end, it was slightly smaller than I wish it had been. So if I could redo it again, I would probably just draw the letters a little bit larger. So you will see here for my O, I did leave the bottom flat. We are making the word mom. And I do ultimately want this to stand up. So I want my letters to be flat on the bottom. And now I just have to cut them out. And to do that, I'm gonna be using this handy little craft knife. You can cut it out with anything. A hot knife would work really well for this as well. I just like my craft knife. So here are my letters all cut out. Now I'm just gonna be using some of these foam floral blocks from the Dollar Tree. So you get four blocks in each pack. I wasn't sure how many I was gonna need, so I did pick up three, but in the end, I think I used around two packs. And you can just cut these to kind of customize them to the shape you need and the thickness you need. So I did just use a regular kitchen knife just to trim them down to size. And I'm basically just going to be gluing them onto my foam board to make sure that I am following that pattern. Now I just wanna go ahead and cut all of those flowers off of the stems. And you can use wire cutters for this or scissors. I like to just cut it and then kind of bend it back and forth until it snaps right off. And now I'm going to start arranging my flowers in the shape of the letters. Here is my M once I had all of my florals in place. And to kind of shape it out a little bit more, I did end up using this large ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I just hot glued it right to the back of the foam board and just kind of traced out my letter. That way it kind of just held everything in place and gave it a little bit more shape. Next, I just cut out a rectangle from that foam board. And to cover this up, I'm gonna be using some of this brown craft paper from the Dollar Tree. This is going to be the base for my floral display and I'm just gonna be hot gluing my letters right to this board. I just applied a generous amount of glue on the bottom and then just held them in place for a few seconds until they were dry and set in place. I do have to warn you, this DIY did take a little bit of finesse and took a little bit more time than I was expecting it to, but I do think the end result is really beautiful and would look amazing as a floral display for a Mother's Day brunch or breakfast. Those are all the DIYs that I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed them, and I did just want to wish all of the mothers out there a very special Mother's Day. Thank you so much for watching. To subscribe to my channel, you can just click on my picture right here and be sure to check out this video.